Have you ever thought to yourself, I wonder what time it is? Only to later ask yourself, wait a second, I wonder what time is? You see, because we are always living in the present, we never get to experience any other time other than, well, right now. The past is only experienced through our memories, and the future is only experienced through our imagination. We are, in a sense, stuck in the present. This understanding of time has been around for, well, a long time. But because we can't use it to prove anything, it's basically useless. That is, until one night in the late 19th century, a physicist by the name of Ludwig Boltzmann discovered something haunting in his research. You see, at the time, Boltzmann was developing a theory which combined his knowledge of statistics with what was already known about in thermodynamics. From this, he developed a theory for entropy. And for those of you who may not know, entropy is a concept in physics which describes chaos. Boltzmann, being an expert in statistics, saw the existence of chaos in our world from a unique perspective. And while studying the thermodynamics of gas particles, he concluded that a system will always go from a state of order to a state of chaos. Now, if your brain is breaking wondering what exactly is order in chaos, don't worry, you're not alone. You can think of order like a cup of hot tea, and as time goes on, that concentrated heat energy will disperse into the cold environment of the room. The hot cup of tea was once considered to be in an ordered state, because all of that heat energy could be found right there in the cup. Later, when the cup cooled, all that heat energy moved out of the cup, into the room, into the walls, out the window, it's chaos. Now, Boltzmann understood this, but he thought, let me take this idea a step further. What if the entire universe was once like that cup of hot tea? In the beginning, all the energy would be in some condensed state of order, and with time, that energy would expand out into the infinite, cold nothingness of space. And if this is true, and time is truly infinite, then it is much, 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 much more likely that we are part of a chaotic nothingness rather than an ordered universe. Now, you may be thinking, but hold on. I'm a person. I know I exist. I think, therefore I am. My very existence rules out the possibility that I don't exist, right? Well, not exactly. You may think you exist in your room on this planet, in this universe, but chances are all that's simply made up information in your head. And this is where it gets crazy. You see, when a universe finally reaches a state of equilibrium, there's a small chance that something can be created out of nothing. And when talking about infinities, small chances are guaranteed to happen. So really, that means anything is possible in the infinite scale of time. Anything you imagine can be created out of nothing if given enough time. However, some things are more likely to come into existence than others. For example, the probability that the entire universe that we find ourselves in was created from nothing is infinitely less likely to happen than the probability that solely your brain was created from nothing. This newly created brain would have all of the memories up until the very present moment such that you would have no way of knowing that you just snapped into existence. The name we have for this randomly forming brain snapping into existence in the middle of the void is called the Boltzmann brain. And according to the laws of statistical thermodynamics, it is infinitely more likely that you are in fact a Boltzmann brain floating out in space rather than a real person in a real universe. But don't worry, because in life, the only person who actually cares if you're real or not is you. You are the master of your own mind, and therefore, you are the master of your own universe. But what if your mind could be controlled by someone else? That would be mind control, and frighteningly enough, it's real. If you want to learn more about that, check out this video where I explain real life mind control technology. But besides that, that's it for me today, guys. I hope you learned something new. Uh, if you did, leave a like and comment down below. And as always, everybody, stay curious.